Hello, guess who's back in the UK? That'll be me after my week away in Portugal. I came back to empty fridge, really. Not a lot in there that was perishable. So I need to buy loads of fruit and veg today and top up my supplies. I'd forgotten my trolley coin I had because I'd emptied my wallet out and had all euros and stuff in there, but I put a euro in there and it worked perfectly. So there's a tip for you. I seem to be in the toy section at the moment, which isn't a bad thing, I suppose, leading up to Christmas. You can see what's here. What on earth is this? monstrosity <laughs> something to do with godzilla king of the monsters apparently i do believe um, it's probably 12 pound because that one is and it looks like it's the same sort of thing it's got a wound look it's all cut and bleeding i've got to admit the prospect of christmas is filling me with panic at the moment because i have only bought one christmas present so far though things have changed for me really with regards to christmas this is the first christmas that i don't have a child anymore because she turned 18 back in april so we're all adults now oh Oh, oh, if you follow my other channel, my daughter couldn't make it home for Christmas because she's working. Now she can. It's changed a bit. She's still working, but she can travel home. Oh, I do love jigsaw puzzles. And look at this one. Dog lover's jigsaw puzzle. That's £15 if you've got a club card because, of course, there's two prices in Tesco's, if you didn't know, if you're watching from another country or something. Cheaper with a club card. Five are off. But look, that's lovely. All these different dog breeds on there. How many pieces is that? a thousand pieces i don't know what to get for my daughter for christmas apart from the thing i already bought her because she's going to be traveling by coach you see for hours and hours and hours and she's not going to be able to carry much back and forth really so i'm going to have to give her light things i bet she's going to get money and gift cards a lot this year a bit boring though but anyway look there's loads of games here 650 for this Cheatwell travel gabble i don't even know what that is can you name them all some sort of quiz things. Find the match and grab it fast. That's 12 pounds. Tap tap smart fidget toy. My daughter loves fidget toys. Anyway, I'm not in here to buy presents tonight. I'm here to get essential groceries. I think I'm gonna do some online shopping for presents, honestly, because it's got to that panic stations point now. There's a paintable puzzle here. My eyes are just drawn to all the puzzles, basically. That's 12 pounds. What is it then? How many pieces have we got? Wooden crafty kits, paint and create 3D. So it comes with markers and paints and these puzzle pieces and a brush. I think it's lots of small puzzles rather than one big one. I wonder what age range that is for. And the picture is like a, a real youngster being supervised by an adult. I can't seem to find the age range, but it says it's not suitable for under three. And it says adult supervision required. What's this then? Oh, Harry Potter stationery set. <laughs> And that's eight pound with a club card or ten pounds without oh blinking neck hands-free phone holder look <laughs> fiver i can imagine giving that to my daughter she'd never ever have to stop using it then even when her hands were busy oh there are more of those jigsaw puzzles look oh i love map ones i love map ones that's a street food of the world jigsaw puzzle donuts oh she loves donuts but she'd never be able to get that in her bag to go back that's the thing so it's totally pointless getting it for her house plants that's nice too big for my mum sorry mum if you're watching you only want 500 pieces you've made that very clear she's only got a small table that's why I really have got to get on with my Christmas shopping well I've been abroad I mean that's an excuse isn't it anyway I need to get in the food aisles I've been eating since I got back yesterday instant noodles <laughs> ready meals crackers <laughs> rubbish basically or in a pasty a frozen pasty it was very nice did that in the air fryer earlier i must admit i really enjoyed it it was really really nice all fresh out of the air fryer guess who's just had a little bit of a good time rummaging around in the reduced to clear section that'll be me and i'll show you what i got in a minute let's just uh, get clear of it courgette going in anyway okay i've parked up by the potatoes to show you it's not always easy to vlog by the reduced to clear sections because there's quite often like a scrummage of people rummaging through actually there weren't but there were a couple of staff trying to load up and i didn't want to be in there for ages you know mess them about anyway for 56 pence i got this stir fry medley there's some chilies in there some giant spring oniony things bit of broccoli baby corns i'll try not to sing the baby shark tune to baby corn it, it does get triggered in my mind and there's some mange twos fruit was most definitely on my list because i didn't have any so i've got some melon slices that's 59 pence for all those and i will i can just gollop that down no problem i'll get through that easily just as well because i've got some more mango 33 pence for that portion there grapes and strawberries also 33p 
these can go straight in the freezer so thank you for the person that gave me the tip about just popping the greggs straight in the freezer and then just eating them from frozen they work just fine like that so i'm going to do that i've got plenty of room in my freezer at the moment those were 45 pence right 33 pence for tender stem broccoli tips 23 pence for all these celery sticks I'll cook with those. For 37 pence, I've got three peppers. They were on my list anyway. And for 30 pence, a big bag of spinach. I was gonna buy bananas and tangerines, but I think I'd better eat all the other fruit first. <laughs> Otherwise, stuff's just gonna end up getting wasted, isn't it? Something that won't get wasted though is mushrooms. You know, I love mushrooms. 125 for a big thing of flat cap mushrooms. I'm looking forward to cooking some proper dinners again. It's been a while, isn't it? Especially with going away as well. And then eating utter rubbish when I got back. Should we see if there's any reduced to clear fish? I doubt it, because I think I would have spotted it by now, because I've got beady eyes when it comes to reduced to clear stickers. Oh, I do like those seafood sticks. I'm going to get them, actually. That's one pound with the club card. Late night snackage, that is. Oh, oh, how did my eyes miss this? £4.15 for four salmon fillets. Yeah, they'll go in the freezer. That's all right. Just over a pound of fillet then, isn't it? Brilliant. I'm beginning to wonder if I should stock up on these while I can. That's 4.45, you know, I'm going to because I have got room in my freezer, as I said. Good, because that'll keep me going for ages, that will, all those. Especially if my boyfriend comes round, because he likes salmon. Oh, I forgot to put yoghurt on my shopping list, but it needed to be on it. Believe me, Creamfields Greek-style natural yoghurt. Should we try that? It's 85 pence. Let's give that a go. That's nice and cheap, isn't it? Obviously, I'm going to try the chilled reduced to clear places as well there's a couple of those one of them's mostly meat but sometimes there's fish in there i had another fabulous tip over on my other channel i had to throw pastry away i didn't use it up before it went out of date and she wrote in the comments said you can freeze it just pop it in the freezer and when you want to use it get it out and thaw it and then you can use it so there we go i do get loads of fantastic tips like that on this channel and my other channel as well it's brilliant great advantage i have what we got in here then mac and cheese i would have that if it was reduced it is, 62 pence, marvellous, down from £2.49, in it goes. The milk's reduced, I don't really drink, oh 30p though, 30p. I've been drinking cow's milk and coffee all the way through Portugal because I really didn't like the soy milk brand that we had. Oh my gosh, look, 30p. I might as well just drink it, to be honest. What else have we got in here? Plant Chef, oh that's 43 pence, down from £1.70. Crispy no chicken nuggets. Yep. Oh, I can see I'm going to have some good feasts coming up in the next week or so. Right, I never buy this sort of stuff. It's just too expensive. Bon Maman Creme Salted Caramel, 55 pence. Ooh, I think Imo might be having a little treat later. Well, it's Friday evening as I film this, you know. Friday treat. Plant Chef. Mm, I don't really fancy it. It's 69 pence. I'm not a fan of the falafel, which is tragic because I'm... I'm a vegetarian. 33p for that. Nah. Uh, what's that? Dairy free mango. Was it yogurt? Oat and coconut blend. How much is that? 69p. Yeah, I'd give that a go. Yeah, defo. Mmm, this is turning into a great shopping trip. Friday evening, I have to remember that. I don't normally come on Friday evenings. I seem to have come back from my holiday with a ravenous appetite. I think it's because I've been eating such big meals while I'm out there and like, <laughs> just harder to satisfy at the moment with food. Oh, look at that lovely Christmas platter there. Olive and anti-pasty platter. How much is that? Six quid. Oh, that's literally making my mouth water and I ate before I came out. <laughs> see, I told you, I've turned all greedy. <laughs> I can see the yellow sticker from here, but what is it? Thai red chicken curry. Oh, why couldn't it be Thai red vegetarian curry? Then I'd have it. No, okay. No win this time. Tesco's own sweet and soya drink is on my list. It's 125 for that, but how long will it last? Because I've just bought a big thing of milk. 21st. Oh, that's ages. I also need non-sweetened for my tea because I prefer that in tea. I don't need coffee. I bought a load back from Portugal. It'd be coming out of my ears. I'll have to watch out, won't I? Drunk far too much of it today. Come to do the price check on the soya drink, the sweetened Tesco Zone. I think it was 125, wasn't it, in the chiller? So it looks like the long life is the same price then. I'll put it on the screen if I've remembered it wrong, which is quite likely for me. Just wondering whether to get a spare one for the cupboard, I don't know. I'm thinking how much can I carry in my trolley? Quite a lot, to be honest. Most of that bulk is coat. Right, we'll have one more of those. And I also want the unsweetened. That's 
Look, it's a cheaper version, 50p. Let's get one of those. No emergency on it though, because I've got that cow's milk to drink as well. This reduced to clear section has been reduced and almost cleared. I'm in the freezer section, trotting up and down the aisle, looking for frozen prawns. I don't know where they are. <laughs> oh, there's something I want though. It's on my list actually. Somebody asked me, how did I get on with the mushroom stroganoff? Or let them know how I got on. Well, I got on very well with it. It was one of the things I tucked into after I got home and there was no food in my house. Well, there was food, but no fresh food, you know. Just stuff in the freezer and cupboards mostly. I really, really liked it. It's two pound, it's vegetarian. I don't think it's vegan. It would say vegan if it was vegan, wasn't it? It was quite mild. It wasn't a strong taste. It wasn't spicy. It wasn't very salty. But it was very delicious and I just really liked it. Wild rice, so it's different coloured rices, black and white in there. Yeah, really nice. I liked it enough to get it again, put it that way. Right, something seems a bit fishy. It's the fish. But where are the prawns? I reckon they must be near here. Oh yes, I think we're coming closer. 350. Those are great big ones. Oh, marinated prawns. It's all looking quite pricey, but there's something nestling in there for £2.69. Let's investigate. What is it? Bay fish mangoes. Oh, little teeny tiny ones, but that's okay because I just want to chuck it in stir fries. So we'll have those. I think that's everything on my list. Time to go home and tell you how much it all cost. £25.98, that's what that little lot came to. I'm looking forward to having a good old munch on that. I'm going to start with the fruit, I think, once I've got it all put away, apart from the fruit, of course. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Do feel free to subscribe to Shop With Imo if you'd like to watch more shopping vlogs. And if you'd like to watch my Day in the Life channel, that is Planet Imo. I'll link that on the end screen as well and in the description. So if you'd like to check out my Day in the Life vlogs, feel free to do that as well. Do feel free to give this video a like if you happen to like it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!